Hi, I am Yogesh. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the process of debugging of PL PGSQL functions in PostgreSQL using PGAdmin 4. The debugger is available as an extension for PostgreSQL installations. Let's explore more about this utility in PGAdmin 4. Connect to the server and select the database. Before proceeding, the prerequisites to use this feature are First, the PLDBG API extension must be installed on the current database. And second, the value should be set for the parameter shared underscore preload underscore libraries in PostgreSQL conf file specifying the location of the shared debugger library. To verify this, select the server, navigate to the dashboard tab, select the configuration tab and search for the parameter shared underscore preload libraries. Now we are ready to debug any function using pgadmin4. The debugger can be used either in context debugging or direct debugging of a target function. Let's explore the direct debugging. Select the function to debug from the schema. Right click on the name of the function and select the debug from the debugging menu. Alternatively, navigate through the object menu to debugging menu and select the debug submenu. The debugger parameter dialog opens to display any in or in out parameters expected by a function. If function or store procedure does not declare any in or in out parameters, the debugger parameter dialog is not displayed. The debugger parameter dialog is used to pass the parameter values in standalone debugging a store procedure or function that expects parameters. The checkbox in the null column indicates the respective input parameter value is null, while s, the checkbox in the expression column indicates the value field contains an expression. The value field contains the parameter value that will be passed to the program. Checking the use default checkbox passes the default parameter value to the function. The last column default value displays the default value for the parameter. Here we are passing p underscore ename parameter value equal to a john and p underscore cell and p underscore com parameter values equal to default value that is 110. After entering the desired parameter values, click on debug to start debugging. The debugger will stop at very first statement of program. The bottom panel has five tabs. The parameter tab display values passed to the function which can be modified if required. The local variable tab displays values for local variables defined in the function, currently initialized as null. The step over button at the top menu bar will move to the next statement execution. At this stage, local variable values are updated as per the result of execution of previous statements. Let's move further and execute the raise info statement. Another tab message in the bottom section displays the output of raise info statements and other messages. Let's execute next statement which calls another function. Step into button will navigate to the called method. The bottom panel tab stack displays the list of functions and procedures that are currently on call stack. When function or procedure is called, the name of function is added to the top of the list displayed in the stack tab. When the function ends, its name is removed from the list. The stack tab displays other information about function calls. First, the name of the function or procedure being called. Second, call arguments and third, the location of the call within the function. In addition, the parameters and local variable tabs will have the value from the current method call. Here, the parameter value 
for p underscore emp num is 8025 and in the local tabs the local variable values are updated anytime while debugging breakpoint can be inserted at the line of execution with a toggle breakpoint button and anywhere in the program by clicking beside line number the next button clear all breakpoints will delete the all breakpoints the continue or start button will resume the execution if debugging is in progress else it will start debugging again finally the results tab displays program results such as the value from the return statement of function clicking the stop button stops the debugger let's see about in context debugging for in context debugging a global breakpoint is required to be set because this can cause another user session to be debugged you must be a super user or own the function or procedure in order to set a global breakpoint to set a global breakpoint select the function right click and select the set breakpoint option from the debugging menu alternatively you can navigate through object menu and select the set breakpoint option from debugging menu after setting breakpoint the debugger window opens and waits for another session to call the function to be debugged let's invoke the same function from p sequel the function does not complete until you step through the function in debugger execution control is now with a debugger you can perform the same operation as previously discussed when execution of a function is completed the calling application regains control and completes execution and its output is displayed at this point you can end debugger session if you do not end debugger session the next application that invokes the program will encounter the global breakpoint and the debugging cycle will begin again to end the debugger session and exit the debugger click on close icon located in upper right corner to close the tab so that's all about the debugger utility in pgadmin 4 thank you